Hello. Who's that? I don't know, but they seem to be following me. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Ilford Simplicity Starter Pack. This is the Ilford Simplicity Film Developing Kit that you can get for about $20. Only able to develop two rolls of 35mm or one roll of 120. And it's best recommended to use the Patterson Film Tank with the ratcheting reels. Now, unfortunately, I did not read that on the box until very late, so I loaded mine into the stainless steel tanks, and that's what we're going to be showing you today. Otherwise, I might just have a little extra chemistry left over, maybe unusable. It's also recommended that we have graduated cylinders on hand because we're going to have to measure out how many, how many milliliters, say that 10 times really fast, we're going to need of chemistry in order to process in this particular instance with the stainless steel tank. Each Ilford developing chemistry or fixer, hypoclearing agent, or stop bath all have instructions on the back on how much to mix it with with water as well as how many milliliters there are inside of it. These are concentrated chemicals that need to be diluted in waters. I mean there's not enough chemistry for me to fill up even this tank unless I dilute it correctly and that's what we're going to do. We're going to follow the instructions on the back of these and we're going to start by putting these into graduated cylinders before we process it. For the film developer, I'm going to have to mix 540 milliliters, if you can see there, I don't know if you can see it, of water into one of these graduated cylinders and then pour in the chemistry. And that should give me enough chemistry to process these, these two rolls of 35 millimeter. So we're going to start off with mixing up the developer and then I'm going to do the fixer and so forth. Because I don't have a 500 milliliter tank, as it says, I'm going to fill this graduated cylinder up to 500 milliliters. So there's 300 and then do 200 more and then put it all inside of here in one of my other developing tanks using distilled water. There's 300 milliliters right there. Up to the 200. So 300 plus 200 is 500 milliliters. So we're gonna pour that in there. Okay. Then we're gonna take Ilford Simplicity's in a white film developer and I'm going to mix it in here. So this is one time use only, so smell, doesn't smell like anything. There we go. I'm mixing the developer. And that should be good. Set that there. And I'm gonna set that aside. Now I gotta do the fixer. I have to do 500 milliliters of water to one of these. And because I don't have any more of those developing tanks, I'm going to use this old Diet Coke bottle. Doing the same thing with the fixer, I'm going to set the Diet Coke bottle aside, fill this up to 500 milliliters, fill up the Diet Coke bottle with uh, the water, and then dilute it inside the bottle. Then I can also shake it up, you know? Shake it up, shake it up, the, the Taylor Swift song. Okay, another 200 and whatevs millimeters. Now that we've got that mixed up, or at least in this bottle, I'm gonna take the Ilford Simplicity, open it up, there we go. Mix the fixer into the Diet Coke bottle. Put the cap on, give it a nice little shake, and there we go, nice and clear. All we have left is the wetting agent that I have to mix with 600 milliliters, what, of water, as well as this, which has to be mixed with 570 milliliters of water. And this is the stop bath. 
Some people go without stop bathing, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go find some more Coke bottles. I'm going to mix that with 600 milliliters of distilled water in that Coke bottle. Now we're going to take the film wetting agent, open it up, and pour it in. Close the lid, give it a nice little shake. There we go. Wetting agent is filled. Make sure you don't get these mixed up. Last but not least is the stop bath. And this says I have to mix it with 570 milliliters. Now because I'm out of uh, these, like out of all this other stuff, since this only has to be filled up with 570 milliliters, and this one only maxes out at 500 milliliters, we're going to use this as the last. And this is a stop bath, so I mean, yes. Now we've got... And 75. There we go. Perfect. Mixed perfectly. Now film stop bath. We're just going to open up the simplicity and pour it in. What? Like I did that like already five or six times. Now I'm trying to be careful not to spill anything. Taking the spoon I use for developer, which I can't use for developer again, I'm going to mix up the stop bath. We're ready to process film. Developer, stop bath, fixer, and hypoclearing agent. It'll be a moment before I actually get to developing it because I got to start my note taking here. Forgot to record the pre-wash. So pre-washing, I did it four times and I filled it to the brim with the tap water, lightly shook it and then dumped it out to get the contaminants, the dust, the debris and whatever was in the camera out of the film. Hopefully it got some good results. I poured in the developer and I agitated for the first minute and then every 30 second intervals. I decided to process at nine minutes because in the past, there's two different film stocks in here. I have a roll of T-Max 400 and a roll of Ultrafine Extreme 400. Last time I processed T-Max was at eight and a half minutes at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And then last time I uh, processed the Ultrafine Extreme was at nine and a half minutes at 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So in this case, I decided to kind of play it safe and stay at about nine minutes while there's both films inside of there. That would give me an under-processed result for the T-Max and an over-processed result for the Ultrafine Extreme. Temperature is not being recorded in this processing experiment. Okay, now we open the lid. Okay, just like that. Pour out the developer. Let that drain for a sec. Okay, I'm going to put the stop bath in for approximately 30 to 45 seconds. But I'm going to pour it in first and then start the timer. I start the timer typically when the tank is full to get the best results I can. Turning it on, stop bath is in, lightly agitate. Okay, we're going to pour that out. It's a yellowish tint. For approximately eight minutes, I'm going to put the fixer in. I'm going to do it for about eight minutes and then check it and see if I want to go the extra time. Agitate for the one minute and then every 30 second in.
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the lid with the fixer still inside to see if I wanna fix it more. And because it's already developed and the fixer's already there, the last stage is to clean it and rinse it. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna rinse it until I know that I want what I've got. So after the five, six minutes I've put it in there for, I'm going to open the lid and see if I need to fix it more or less. Well, I can't go less now, but at least see if I can do more. Now I'm gonna check and see what it looks like. Now, some of you guys think I'm crazy for doing this, but if I'm just going to put the chemistry in there, I might as well see what I have before I clean it. Oh, nice rich color, okay. Okay, I like the result of this one. This is the T-Max. Oh yeah, I like these results. I'm going to now rinse it then. And I'm gonna just use regular the tap. Now I'm going to put in the hypoclearing agent and I'm going to leave that in there for about two minutes agitating for the first open the top here and we're doing a rinse. I'm going to set this aside and wash that in a bit. Pour this out and then just have nice, a nice constant stream of water going into the tank while I rinse all the chemicals out. Just like that. So I'm going to leave this for about 15 minutes. You can't over rinse film. So I'm going to leave this in here for about 15 to 20 minutes. Check back on it and I'll be back. Did some cleaning up and we've got the rapid dryer out today to kind of give it a quicker dry. But first I'm going to now finish up with the water. Take the distilled water. I'm going to pour distilled water all the way up to the top. There we go. Take the photo flow, and you only need a very little bit of this stuff, mind ya. I'm just gonna do one little drop. There we go. Because this is very concentrated. I'm going to just kind of work it up and down, kind of mix them a little bit with my pinky. See how it's bubbling? This stuff is very concentrated. Okay. Now my rapid dryer has this little spool that I can drop everything on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, now that the photo flow is on here, I can't pick it up with my pinky. There we go. Do a cool poop. I can't pick it up with my pinkies. Just kinda gotta jam my pinky in there, do a couple of dips. Yeah, buddy, that's how we do it. Now we're gonna drop that spool on here. Same for this one. Just kind of give it a couple of ups and downs. Kind of drop that spool on top like that. And making a mess, I'm going to drop it inside my rapid film dryer. Turn it on. It'll drip down and we'll take a look at the prints in a little bit. I forgot to record the revealing of the film in the video. So here's the revealing. Do we have images? It looks like we have images. Same for the second one. We have images. 
I'll scan some of them in and show you guys at the very end of the video. My final thoughts on Ilford Simplicity after having used it, I do get images from the negatives. Can I recommend it? Yes. If you are the budget conscious shooter who just has like the developing tank and nothing else, yes, you can use it. Unfortunately, you do have to have the cylinders or something to measure out the chemicals to dilute them properly so you can get the right mixtures. Now, the film came out good. I wouldn't say it's by any means like a super pro film if I was going to take it to, say, the dark room to get processed. And the film came out pretty good for what it was. Is it practical? I wouldn't say so. Only because it seems kind of wasteful. And for 20 bucks, I think it's kind of wasteful to have to keep diluting chemicals nonstop. And if I do a lot of film, I would just buy the Kodak D76 or something along those lines, like the T-Max developer, something that can be reused multiple times. I think uh, Cinestill makes a black and white developer that can be reused multiple times. And that'll save you a lot more money than having to spend $20 for a kind of a wasteful little set. The good point about it is that if you are a budget conscious shooter who's just new to the film photography world and just want to kind of dip your hands in to the developing process, this is perfect for you. This is absolutely perfect because it allows you to get a little bit of how it is to mix, how it is to dilute, and then the developing process. Or if your friend wants you to kind of not use their chemicals and you want to use these, well, borrow your friend's tank and have fun. But otherwise, it's something different. Now, would I use it a lot? No, I wouldn't. Only because it just seems really out of my time. It takes away from my time and uh, it's pretty wasteful. Unfortunately, it's just not something I'm going to be using multiple times a year or something. Now, if I did go on a road trip or something and I stay at a hotel, then I would do that in the hotel. Mind you, may, some hotels probably won't like it. I've never actually processed film in a hotel, so I don't know what it's like. I'm just saying that as like a reference point because my friend actually processes his film in the hotel that he stays at. Now, I don't need to do that. Otherwise, it just, it seems tad bit wasteful and yeah. Hopefully this video helps you. If it does, check out my channel content for more. I have other camera videos and I do some camera look at reviews and stuff like that. As well as car videos and other stuff. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. And remember, stay safe.